welcome to this video test guys I have the Samsung S23 Ultra and the Oppo Find X6 Pro guys so <laughs> I guess by this time you can already tell which video comes from which phone I guess if that's not clear then on the left side on your screen guys we have the S23 Ultra and on the right side we have the Oppo Find X6 Pro and you wonder how can someone tell well I think it's obvious the front video from the Samsung HDI is better in general it's better what I do like really is the viewpoint though the field of view on the Oppo is a bit wider which is kind of cool because you probably can get a bit more detail and of course there is this very lame restriction only FHD 30 FPS which is a bummer really it's not a problem for me but it's a bit unfair given the price tag of the phone so some more front camera testing guys in this video what you're gonna see is an outdoor sunny test with a lot of hopefully HDR front camera and then of course the main star of the show is gonna be the back camera test so you know that the Oppo Find X6 is rocking the massive one in sensor but also the ultra wide camera guys and the telecamera are very good indeed all three cameras are 50 megapixel and the ultra wide camera and the telephoto camera are so good that they are in some phones as main cameras okay so the main hype for the Oppo Find X6 Pro is that it's using really a triple camera setup right so it's like really three standalone cameras and they are all very good and indeed from all the pictures I shot yesterday just did some preliminary tests that's the case but now let's switch to the back cameras and see how well the Oppo will stack against the S23 Ultra okay now UHD 60 FPS there are also some limitations the S23 Ultra can do the staggering 8K 30 FPS which we don't have on the Oppo but the Oppo has double vision only of course limited to UHD 30 FPS so let me just go closer to this object here and try to see which picture is better guys please stop the video in any given time and let me know what you think down below in the comments all right now I'm also going to initiate a run to try to test the stabilization okay by the way I have a tripod a special one I bought but I decided to shoot these videos by hand it's just better for stabilization testing all right let's check what happens here okay both phones apparently cannot focus so I have to press manually I'm just now pressing this on the S23 Ultra can't get any focus same here with the Oppo <laughs> big sensors guys okay now one more time okay now I got the focus locked I'm gonna get closer guys wow and you can just see the S23 Ultra is really able to get closer when in video I'm trying now to focus with the Oppo and I can so this is the max that I can get as a focus in the Oppo all right let me just also zoom in here on the S23 Ultra and now get closer and already Oppo is losing so the Oppo is not really able to focus with that massive one inch sensor and the S23 Ultra can get really close and by the way it's a very different situation when you shoot pictures but that's a whole other story and it's gonna be of course another video so guys let's switch now to the next mode the next mode is the 3x on both phones Right. what we're looking here is to appreciate the colors green grass also blue sky with some clouds all right there are some objects here some dogs and people in the background okay also the beautiful mountain as you can see let me also try to do a run with the 3x <laughs> wow okay yeah imagine one of the best civilizations that we have is for sure in the s23 ultra and now let's do guys a 10x which is not completely fair because the Oppo is doing a great job up to 6x and then in up to 10x it's using some hybrid things and clearly you can just see the 10x from the S23 Ultra is optical and the grass looks better and the flowers so from what I see on the viewfinder we are already losing a lot of details here on the Oppo all right let me just go up a bit beautiful footage on the S23 Ultra 
and I see some scramble details on the Oppo Find X6 Pro. Ultra wide camera, guys. Okay. Let me do a slow run. And now let's just go and observe some details. Left phone S23 Ultra, right phone is the Oppo Find X6 Pro. All right, let me get close on this rust here. All right, getting really close here. So apparently the ultra wide can get closer than the main sensor. Let's do also a close up here, guys. Now it's time for the indoor test with low light. As you can just see, I'm inside my favorite playground for indoor testing, guys. Why? Because here we have a lot of light, a lot of elements, also very colorful. And yeah, phones struggle in these conditions. All right, just observe the details behind me and let me know what you think down below in the comments. All right, I'm gonna go and do a slow walk right now and approach a colorful wall. And meanwhile, guys, get your comments ready. The S23 Ultra or the Oppo Find X6 Pro. I always start with the tiles. These details here are very important, guys. If those details come out right, then the phones are doing potentially a good job. But if they come scrambled with a lot of noise, then we have a problem. If the picture, if the image is distorted, then we have a problem. So that's the rear camera 4K UHD 60 FPS. I'm also going to do the slow run here. Just see how stabilization is gonna work. But also have in mind, the S23 Ultra has one of the best video stabilizations ever seen in a phone. Okay. Now some down video, guys. And now let's go and check the other cameras. 3X on both phones. All right, appreciate the details. Yep. If you can read the fonts, if everything comes right, all the colors and the noise. And now back to the tiles, guys. Okay. Now again, a slow run. Oh, wow. The image on the S23 Ultra just doesn't move. It's absolutely mind-blowing what this camera can do. Okay. Oh my God. The shaking on the Oppo. Wow, what is going on, guys? What is going on? I'm not moving at all and the video on the Oppo is shaking like crazy. So I'm not sure if that's a feature or a bug. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I moved to 10X. I think there was a bug with the Oppo camera because the image just really didn't want to stop wobbling and I'm just thinking this is probably it happens again I'm not sure if that is kind of like because of the electronic image stabilization uh, well but it doesn't really it doesn't really look good all right still another test guys I'm not moving at all and this is a weird feature okay this is really horrible guys what you can see on the Oppo right now and you can just see the footage on the S23 Ultra is just obsolete. Yeah, now I'm on the ultra wide. It looks a bit better. There is definitely a problem with Oppo Find X6 Pro Televideo, like 3X and 10X. This is really weird. I really hope that they are gonna fix it. And by the way, I downloaded yesterday all the updates. So I'm using what is now the latest updates on my Oppo. Okay, I just want to give it another chance. So let me just switch back to 3 one more time. All right, the second chance, guys. I'm now back to 3. So it starts to be okay, but the moment I start running... Okay, no, this time it's better. So definitely some issues with the electronic stabilization. Right now, I think it's okay, but at some point something just kicks in and the video will start wobble. So right now I think we're good. Let's appreciate all the details, guys. Okay, now 10x on both phones, guys. Okay, let's see now if you're gonna get this back or not. So I'm gonna start moving towards. And yeah, let me just start running. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Tenex. Footage on both phones isn't great. Okay, right now it seems that we don't really have this bug, so it maybe was something one-off. But it was very unpleasant, so I left it for you guys to see in this video. This was now the indoor test from the S22 Ultra video and the Oppo Find X6 Pro guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you like content like these guys, yeah, you might as well want to support the channel. Hit us in Telegram. You can ask questions, share feedback and samples, have a discussions. Stay safe, we'll see you over and bye.